Uh, Murray, uh, Quinn's this weekend, second versus third. You know, they've got the likes of Joe Marler in that front row. It's going to be a bit of a bit of a bit of a tough weekend for you, isn't it? Yeah, it would be competitive. It always is in the Premiership. Um, every week we play, we always, you know, the amount of team we're playing against is always uh, set piece is crucial, and we know that, you know, if we want to come away with a win at the end of the day, that we have to uh, be on our game in the set piece. Tell us a bit about where you feel Harlequin's strengths lie, in particular, from what you've you've seen and researched and been told about by your coaching team. Uh, set piece wise again, you know they're, they're strong in the area. That, you know, talk to the players that they have, a lot of internationals in the, in the pack. Um, you know, and the back lines, you know, doing well too. So you know, counter attacks, you know, coming in, uh, looking to keep a high tempo, which is in a way it's kind of similar to us. We do like to play with that high tempo as well. So it um, should be a good, a good game, hopefully. You know, how this this second versus third? I know it's very early in the season, but already. You know, if Quinns and, you know, Quinns and yourselves have both won three out of four, you both look relatively in form. How important is a win in the con in the greater context of the season? Uh, well, it's been a home game for us as well. We look at, you know, we want to do well at home. Um, you know, if you want to be in that top four, we want to be at the end of the season. And it's crucial we do well in our home games and, and come away with a win. So, uh, but we've done we've done a lot of analysis on them uh, and you know and looked at ourselves as well and what areas that we need to improve on. Um, you know, good training session for the week and again it just adds to it, you know, second versus third and it's another game in the premiership and there is more after it, but yes, you'd want to get, get the win, especially being at home and pushing forward. But again it's not going to be easy. Um, as I said before, a set piece uh, defence, everyone needs to, to click, especially against a team like Harlequins. And I guess, having beaten Bordeaux last week, how much confidence does that give the side going into this game at Sunday Park? Yeah, obviously winning is, is good, do you know what I mean? And, and, and continuing that, it's obviously going to be key. Um, and has that momentum in there. But again, it's not a game rugby, we're back into the league, back into the Premiership. Um, and obviously brings in different challenges there for us um, and again we just need to be on our game and, and you know, get a good win. From your point of view, assess for me if you will how you feel personally these first six games of the, the proper season so to speak have gone for you? Yeah it's been good, obviously pre-season was good, um, it went well and they started getting opportunities and felt you know cause it was good games coming off the bench making some impact um, and it was good and I got the opportunity to play last week um, and you know we had another chance this week so it's just about putting in the performances and, and backing up and getting the consistency there and, and you know really challenging me I've got a, a big squad and there's a lot a lot of depth um, in various positions and you know the front row is one of them as well so it's a guys are always challenging for the jerseys and, and if you're not you know in form not performing well then the next person's ready to go and um, yeah just you know I want to go out there and perform well um, and hopefully keep the jersey so. And if you can perform well, that first game in the Six Nations is Scotland versus England. I know you didn't make the World Cup, but is that is that an aim as well? Is that something that's in the back of your mind if you can perform well here that you can kind of show the Scotland selectors that what they're missing? Uh, well, not really what they're missing. It's more just you know <laughs> if you're performing well for your club week in week out and you're going well, then you're putting yourself in, in that window, aren't you? So. But for me, I'm not really thinking about it. For me, it's just about performing out the Chiefs and doing well here. Um, I had the chance last week to start and I've got the chance this week to go out and, and do it again. So uh, for me, it's just going out there and putting in performances for the Chiefs. And then, you know, if anything else happens after that, then great. You know, but again, I can't control that. I can't, don't pick it. So again, at the end of the day, all I can do is, is put myself out in, in the window uh, by playing we can go out the Chiefs. What would a victory then mean for you guys? Do you think psychologically to go kind of four games in a row in the Premiership with victory, especially with being, say you beat Parliament, you beat Leicester as well, two of the two of the fancied sides. What do you think would do for the side? Yeah, obviously, we get you know give us confidence. Uh, what we want to go out there is to win, um, and the challenge is to get into that top four position uh, coming into the season. And you know we know that there's a lot of tough games uh, week in week out up to them. We don't you know there's no weeks off, and so it's just back to back challenges. And we know we need to be at our best. And um, yes, giving the win will give us confidence, but also give us a lot to work on in these games. To you know, and the challenge will be for us to to be to be there uh, coming into the season. Fantastic, I think, Salidi.